Okay, so this tile floor, uh, the house cleaner, I put some mop and blow on the floor, and they didn't know. So as you can probably see a little bit, it's just a layer, um, film layer on the tile, so it's clinging dirt to it over time. I don't know how long ago this, it was applied on the floor, um, but there's an obvious transition. If this wasn't wet, you would see it from the kitchen to this area where I haven't cleaned yet. Uh, indifference. So that mop and glue product left the film across the entire tile and the grout. Causing dirt to cling to it. You can see that little spot to the left, center, and to the right, and dirty. Just that mop and blow cleaning dirt to it. And so when she mopped herself, she couldn't get that to come off at all. So essentially, what I'm doing is I'm using Grout Master and let it sit for a little bit and then I'm scrubbing it for some agitation because of that Mopperville product. I don't really just rinse it in this case because uh, I did it in that area and of course in the kitchen. And there was one section in the kitchen where I actually had to bring in a little bit of a stripping agent to get it to come off. So, being that this is a high traffic area, so you can see how the dirt area where I haven't touched yet. Uh, I might have to use some stripper in here too. I'm hoping not. It's, it's, uh, the dining room area wasn't that bad. And so the grout master and scrubbing with the CRV took that off, which is amazing. So, and I have it kind of at a lower dilution ratio than normal. table over there so I can get this little section. So once I'm done, I'll take a towel and wipe off the entire table. Otherwise I run the risk of it being sticky and all that. But, so what I did in the dining room area to my left after I did all this, I actually took my hand tool, I used the countertops and showers, and I ran it around the edges here. Because I saw that there was a little spot that I could not quite get to. And I needed to, I needed to run the, tool, the hand tool over in order to get it to come off and look beautiful. So I might have to do that in here. Well, we'll see how it shakes out. There was a, an area run type deal. Uh, I believe she said there was a waffle pad underneath it. Sometimes that's not good because the waffle pad and sometimes there's a sticky residue on surfaces depending on how long it's been there.
So like I said, I already did in there. It's almost completely dry. And in the kitchen. So right in front of the white cabinet on the left hand side is where I had to do the stripping agent to get it to come off. It's built up a little heavier there. But um, nonetheless, you can see what that mop and glow is doing. It's clinging all that dirt. She should be able to get that up for the most part with uh, normal mopping and such because this grout isn't porous. Uh, it's been, it's a, more or less a painted grout, so it's non-porous. Grout Master hasn't been taking it off at all, but it's just cleaning it thoroughly. So it should be easy to mop considering because it's non-porous. So with that being said, I'm gonna go to the next step and rinsing this off.